Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Philippians, Philippians chapter 3, verse 10 and 11, and it reads, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death. If by any means I may obtain to the resurrection from the dead. As I read this passage of scripture, I'm reminded of when a friend of mine told me as a young man, uh, he was traveling along the road and he stopped and he saw this guy that was out working on his car, he had some trouble, stopped, helped him out. And the guy looked very unassuming. And, and eventually as they were talking, uh, the older gentleman asked him, uh, do you know Jesus? And he said, oh, well, yes, sir. I go to the church, the Baptist church, just around the corner there. And the young man, the gentleman stopped him and he said, listen, now that's not what I asked you. I asked you, do you know Jesus? And as they went on, he realized that this gentleman was actually the president of the Bible college not too far away. And he asked him that question and he began to think about it as he went home and he pondered it more and more. And he said, yes, I go to that church but I don't know Jesus. You know, there's many people today that know Jesus or say that they know Jesus. They know about Jesus. There are other religions that will say they know about Jesus, but they don't know Jesus, not the Jesus of the Bible. They have not accepted him as their personal Lord and Savior. They have an, and they have an, uh, a book knowledge or an intellectual understanding of who Jesus is or who they believe him to be, but yet, they not, have not put their trust and their confidence in Jesus. And here, the Apostle Paul is saying that to know Jesus for him is the most important thing in life. That irregardless of all the other success that he's had, he count all of those things, all the human achievement, his ability to keep the law, to be a Pharisee, to be an educated man, to be considered a Jew amongst the, uh, the Jews, that all of that stuff, he put it aside. He counted as nothing, as rubbish, rubbish, and even as done, depending on your translation, but rather that he want to know Jesus, and it was the most important thing for him in his life, and notice what he says here in verse um, 10, beginning in verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and how do we know him in the power of his resurrection? It is through the power of his resurrection that completed the, the the, the work of salvation was completed not simply on the cross, but also in the resurrection of Christ. That in his righteousness and what he did on our behalf to pay the sin that once and for all and then been raised from the dead and that we put our trust and confidence in him, believing that he did this, that he is the son of God. And we come to him and receive him to our heart, then we will be saved. And we know him in the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. And how did what did Jesus suffer? He suffered because he told the folk, the world, what they did not want to hear. He told them the truth about the way to God. And the world don't want to hear that. When you share the gospel, the good news, it is good news. But the good news says that what, the way that you're living in the world, this worldly way of life, is not pleasing unto the Lord. That you have to be willing to repent and come to God through the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you do that, if you try to live godly and right in this world, you're going to suffer. You're going to face persecution, absolutely guaranteed, because the way of Christ is contrary to the way of this world. And so his desire was to, to join him in the fellowship of his suffering, being conformed to his death, to put aside the desires of the flesh, but rather to commit oneself wholly and completely unto the Lord. And he looks to the future by saying, if by any means I may obtain the resurrection from the dead. Yes, there's one day that we all would be joined with Christ and that we will all be resurrected in a, in, a, in a resurrection as he was. And we will have that resurrected body, a body that won't get tired, a body that don't need sleep, a body that, that, that won't break down, a body that that won't wrinkle a body, that won't die out. And we will live with him forever and forever. So do you know him? And that's the question, not do you know about him, but do you know him? And do you have a desire to know him fully and intimately more and more each and every day? This should be your number one priority 
in life is to know him and, and to be willing to participate in, a, in, in the fellowship of his suffering, to be willing to share in the work that our Lord began here on earth when he was in the body. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon these verses. It would be, uh, there would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. Look for opportunities to, to share the gospel with those that you come into contact with. It should not be a surprise to people that are in the world that you are a child of God, that you actually know the Lord Jesus Christ. To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. I pray that you would have a safe day. Enjoy your day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.